Welcome back to another episode on the channel. We're heading over to Leicester in just a moment uh, and we're going to do that first heist. But first, shall we take a look at the stock market and see if there's anything we can do to make some extra cash? Leicester has just sent us an email. Where should we put the money? It doesn't tell us anything about where to put the money. But let's take a look anyway. Let's see if there's anything that is that is quite low. You look like you know how to treat a lady. Want a party? Let's take a look. What could we put money into? Is there anything we should put money into? Life invader maybe. Well, we'll just leave it there for now. Let's head on over to Oh, we're getting a phone call. Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do's your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work. And I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. So, Ricky is becoming... Uh, Ricky is becoming a member that we could potentially use in the future for one of the heists. Shall we head on over to Leicester and get started on the first heist? of this series the first heist in gta 5 now i've got no idea if i'm doing these missions in the correct order i'm just playing through the game and having some fun with it you can obviously let me know your thoughts down in the comments make sure you hit that subscribe button as well and we'll get into everything go through the whole story so let's see what happens we're here now at leicester let's head on into the warehouse mike I said look nice. Can you put a suit on, please? Right. Right, right, right. Let me... Can you change outfits like this now? No. Right. So I need to go and get a suit. Right, let's get ourselves to a high-end clothing store. go and get ourselves looking fancy forgot that that was something that we needed to do so let's get into that right now and then go back for the first heist right, let's go this way this way, that way, folds and backwards over the Irish Sea. Bottle of rum to fill me till. Whoosh! That was close. Right then. High end clothing store. Doesn't even have parking. I think that tells you. Uh, a couple of things about the place, I say. How are you? I'm all right, darling. How are you? Let's browse the suits, then, shall we? Shall we go with? We have that in multiple colors. Let's go with that one. It's the cheapest one. Makes the most sense. Don't want to browse sweaters. I just want to go and get this heist done. Make sure you come back. I'm coming back, Lester. I'm coming back.
We're back. Let's see what happens in this one then, shall we? The hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. And they say it cannot be hit. It hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he went quiet. Miko Belek? All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. Why not just ask Franklin? The shop's on Little Portola. Shit! Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business. FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Well, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Townley. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Well, I mean, is that car? Crazy, crazy motherfucker. Alright, next one. Here we are. Not the jewelers. I'm an idiot. You reading me? Mm-hmm. Okay, we need shots of the security features, the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. So Carol Boulevard maybe want to try. You ain't that doesn't, doesn't help. Go inside the store. Sir, thank you. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. So, uh, that's the cameras and the alarm, and when you've got a shot of the vents, we're done. I can't see anything helpful. Great, you got the security camera and the ventilation in that shot. Good work. Now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8. Our pendants start at 12. All right. 
So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelical logo here? Oh, no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm gonna take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, sir. I will do. Off we run. No, no, avoid North Rockford Drive. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. I'll just die. No doubt. Drive us around the block. We gotta find a way up to the roof. Look, there. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. Let's get to the rooftop. So you keep up with the old crew? No, well, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. I kept tabs on him for a while. Needed to, uh, know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. I'm on the roof! I need to know where the air coming out of those vents in Vangelico originates. There should be a unit above the store. Oh. Get some high ground. He's probably a John Doe then, okay. right? What do you think? OD? Shootout? Maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway? They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. Uh, from where? Where am I supposed to be getting a shot from? Up there, isn't it? Right, okay then. Let's go and get ourselves a shot. Down we go. Let's not jump off the building like I probably did ten years ago when this game first came out. Stuck the landing. Right, there's the door. Off we go, back downstairs. Well, First, down the ladder. Let's hurry this up, Michael. I apologize for being so slow, Lester. I apologize. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. Off we go then. Back to the garment factory. So, what did you see? Well, nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes and rub his nose in it. Uh, good. The alarm system is linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, oh, by the register. So I'd start there. Mm, glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof. Means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. 
So, we go in when it's open, then? Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. <laughs> well, looks like he's going to try and get Franklin involved. Let's see what happens with that, then. My uh, workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't want to leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options. I'm showing you all the angles. That's my area of professional expertise. But making decisions. That is your domain, my friend. Here. Now, there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. That means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSPD tactical teams, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? I think... I think we go smart. Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Uh, Eddie take the toe. best. Now you Let's can count on guy. him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. Right. Ah, Norm. Came across as a, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. Hacker. Back office, but this is the person who will determine how long you get inside. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Shall we go with Ricky, just to save the bit of court? I bet it probably gives us less time then. I think we should go. So 14, 7, that's 21% gone. Let's go with Christian. Belts. Okay, he's not the best, but if you move fast, that won't matter. If you're happy, I'll start making the arrangements. I think we should be happy with that. Great. I'm going with that. I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Oh, yes. Huh? Good. Good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. Case in the jewelry store, so we're getting ourselves set up for the first heist. And it's going to be really interesting to see what does happen. We'll call it Franklin now. Let's see what he has to say. 
Hey, what's up? Hey, man, it's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so uh, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful, and the risk will be high, but you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you can put together your own deals, your own jobs. So, there's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell. Make sure you hit the like button as well, and I'll catch you in the next episode of this GTA 5 story mode.